Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am the Popcorn Phantom. Hello. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my hair. That's right, my hair loss and the treatment I went through to recover it. So, it all started with me being on vacation to Singapore. This is me walking around my awesome blue shirt when all of a sudden, bang, you can see the back of my head. Huh. All right, here's another shot of me walking around and bang, you can see the back of my head. Now, I was at that point where I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna end up losing all my hair, I'm gonna have to shave my head. You know, I had friends saying, hey, you could get used to shaving your head, it's okay. But deep down inside, I really wanted to grow my hair one more time like I did when I was young. Uh, last year in November, that's November 2022, I was at the dermatologist for a completely different reason. We got on talking about hair loss and how I was prescribed at that time finisteride 1mg and monoxidil 5%. Now finisteride is a 5-alpha reductase which is used to treat uh, enlarged prostates and uh, hair loss. I'm not going to be talking to you about my prostate today, I'm just going to be talking about my hair loss. Uh, and monoxidil 5% is like Rogaine. Everyone's seen Rogaine, you know, you never really, um, I never really used it because I just felt like it never would work. Uh, so November 2022, right now it is August 1st, 2023. And as you can see, uh, my hair is pretty long now. And here are two shots. I took shots of the back of my head uh, during the time. This is the beginning. As you can see, it's clear. There's like a heart shape there. It's a lot of love. And over time, you can see how it's filled out. Now, this is the most recent one. I mean, technically, this would be the most recent one. Check it out. So this is what my head looks like now. You can see there, it's still a little bit thin, but uh, considering, considering, considering where it was and where it is now, I mean, I'm, I'm a really happy camper. Honestly, I, um, I felt like, I mean, my confidence is, you know, skyrocketed. I'm so happy. I don't have to shave my head. Uh, I don't have to be bald uh, like this. <laughs> Tip number one is that uh, you can have these on an empty stomach. So like for me, it's really easy to just wake up and the first thing I do is I just pop one. And just so that I know I'm not missing any, I write the dates down as you can see here. So what I've done is I missed one dose on the 24th. So what I did was that on August 2nd, which is today, I had my dose and instead of writing August 3rd, I wrote August 4th. So I know that I have to take this one. So I'm not wasting any more uh, medicine. Now guys, I'm not prescribing these medicines. This is just my experience. And uh, with medicine obviously comes side effects, which are listed here. Now I haven't felt any of these, thank God. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's also a lot of stuff about there being the placebo and how the placebo group also felt some side effects and all that stuff, but you know, for me, luckily, I didn't feel any side effects. I would not start this medication without being prescribed uh, by a dermatologist, by a doctor. So if you are on that path where you're losing your hair and you're losing hope, uh, do not give up. Talk to your dermatologist. They'll tell you where you're on on the Norwood scale and what you can do to kind of recover your hair. Now, uh, a lot of people go with hair transplants. A lot of people go with, you know, um, there's FUE where they take out little uh, bits of follicles of your hair and put it in the front and then there's another one where they just take a patch of your hair from the back and put it in the front but for me I'm lucky I didn't have to do that I was just on finisteride and minoxidil and uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with the outcome so guys if you enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up like subscribe to the channel I will keep coming out with content like this so stick around and I'll see you in the next video